Okay everyone, this is John and I've got Megan here with me and today we are heading over to a place that does auto body work. I sell a lot of car parts online and uh, the owner of this business contacted me because he knew I sold a lot of car parts and stuff like that and he said that he had a whole bunch of car parts, stuff that he had taken off whenever there was a wreck like say the right hand corner of the car was crashed and the left hand corner headlight was okay they changed them both and so he has a good left hand corner a uh, lot of parts just a lot a lot of parts so we're gonna actually go over and uh, we negotiated a price I paid three hundred and fifty dollars for all of these car parts okay IRS I want to let you know that I am pulling cash out of the uh, OATM here to go buy them car parts so we're gonna go and uh, go buy some car parts. Okay guys, it looks like they're already unloading a bunch of the stuff over there right behind this big white F-250 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over there. I've got a bunch of totes behind us here. F-250 Chevy. F-250, I mean, it's a 2500 <laughs> HD. F, it's a special, It's a, she's laughing at me. She don't ever say two words in a video, but I make a mistake and she's all about that life. She's all about making fun of me. But yeah, right over there, it's that uh, pile of stuff behind that little mini sprint. So uh, we're gonna go pick up this stuff. This should be fun. Let's get to it. Yeah, he would have probably have done pretty good at this. John, if you have any interesting glass, like roll-up windows and stuff like that, those numbers that you can run and be able to tell what they go to. Um, you know. It's all yours to be taken if you want it, I mean. Uh, I. Uh, let me take a look at it. Okay. I, if not, it consolidates pretty easily in the dumpster. Yeah, I hate that. I, uh, I hate that. But, yeah. A lot of that stuff, like my taillights and stuff, as it came down, I rode what they were for so you didn't have to waste that kind of time on them. Yeah. There's a few that you'll just have to search the number on. Right. Uh, I threw those door panels and the red ones on top. I rode oh. on the back. 379 feet. They fit like 15 years of the feet. They okay. 379 feet. So. Sweet. I'm gonna go grab some coats. We got some coats and we'll start. All right, Every, everything right there is all part of it. Okay, thank you. Camaro. Okay, we're gonna go grab some totes. We're gonna start loading, loading up. I'll grab this bunch. This is gonna be a couple trips, I'm sure. Some of this might have to go home. We'll probably take this home to the garage because it I don't have to work through it tote by tote. If it's in a box, you're gonna just take it over. Okay guys, this is the whole pile of stuff that we bought here. There's tail lights, there's headlights, all kinds of stuff. Some headers. We've got a piece for the back of a B-body Chevy tailgate. There is some uh, grills. Like I said, tons of headlights, some steering wheels, wheel caps, uh, condenser, some more parts. I mean, all kinds of stuff for many different styles of Chevy and Ford, plastic cars, new cars. This is a huge, um operation that they got going here i mean it's pretty amazing they do a lot of work you can kind of look i'm mean, gonna they got a huge garage here they do racing all kinds of stuff so we're going to get all this stuff loaded up and uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of work she's working and i'm talking so i'm going to get to work so she doesn't have to do all the heavy lifting here we go these are some of the cars that Dave has done. Uh, some of the cars he currently has for sale. This is an old County Squire. I love the wood green on the side of it. It looks freaking awesome. It's got a nice green interior. It matches the outside of the car. That's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to buy that for Megan because she loves these cars. Pretty nice. Here is a C10 stepside Chevy truck that he has for sale. This thing is absolutely immaculate. Like absolutely immaculate this is we got the nice american racing like torque thrust two style wheels on it that's freaking awesome i don't know what year this is it looks like an early 70s that's pretty cool then he's got his 
47 Ford down here that he's had for a long time. It is uh, lowered. I think the frame on it's been notched. Absolutely awesome. Love it, love it. You kind of got that rat rod. Uh, not kind of, it is a rat rod. Nice old Ford. Yeah. That's super awesome. Look at that. Freaking nice. Go over here and I'll show you a couple more cool cars. Here is an awesome 1990. This is a, got an LT5 in it. This is a ZR1 Corvette. I know the guy that owns this car. He's promised me a ride in it. Once it is done, this is freaking awesome. It's got the little bit wider body to it than the regular Corvettes. And it also has the dual overhead cam motor 350 uh, LT5 ZR1. That is freaking awesome. And the Hummer is pretty cool too. Yeah, I know the compared to the Corvette for sure. And that was a wider Corvette than the standard C4s. That's awesome there. That's a H1 Hummer. That is freaking awesome. Love it. So this is a four banger Mustang convertible. We got one just like it. Ours is a 93 at home. This one looks like it's got a new top on it though. So that's pretty nice. Be a great V8 conversion. Put a LS1 down on that bad boy. Right, Megan? Yeah. Yeah. No, she said no. <laughs> this is one of David's builds here that he built a long time ago. Um, one of the first custom cars I believe he did. Um, that's got big like 24 inch wheels on it. But I love this Bronco. It's got a 5.0 liter in it. Uh, it's got a snorkel. This is what I've always wanted a Bronco too like this. These things are freaking awesome. It's got a beefy lift. Big 30, probably 30, 30. 38s big 38s on it this thing is freaking awesome love it love it love it look at that it's freaking cool Ford that needs someone to love on it that is pretty awesome though short bed pretty hard truck to find really hard truck to find is what I believe to be a 78 79 f-250 it's a Ford thing is absolutely immaculate I mean it's gorgeous. Nice little restoration done on it. Pretty, pretty truck. Aftermarket headlights. Man, that thing is freaking sexy. That thing is awesome. Absolutely love that truck. We used to drive these to truck, these types of trucks to school all the time. Never had much of a respect for one until I got older. And then you get sentimental and that nostalgia kicks in. And you're like, man, I, what would I give to go for another ride in a truck like that back in 1996? When you got a bunch of money, you can afford really cool stuff like this. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. Nice Peterbilt with the flames he painted on it with his uh, toy hauler right there. That's pretty awesome. Pretty impressive. This guy, he came up from nothing. So you can't tell me that you are not capable of making it in America. This is uh, the American dream right here, people. This is amazing. This is what hard work and a little dedication will get you. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, we are taking our first load. We're not going to take it to the store. I've actually got my old eBay shed that we're going to take it to. And we're going to put it in there uh, because there's a lot of stuff and it's all filthy. And it's probably going to be a project that I work on over the winter time. Uh, Megan was a huge help today. And we are going to unload this try to put it up on the shelves as nice as possible and then I'm gonna go back <clears throat> and then we're gonna load up the rest and we're gonna pay for it and my throat is closing up because of all the dust it is it is dusty stuff so auto body auto body parts typically are really bad anything that's been stored in an auto body shop uh, because of all the sanding and all the dust the air that goes on in one of those places so you got to think about that when you're buying this stuff there is going to be a lot of cleaning involved here but there are some 60s model Camaro parts and um, <clears throat> all kinds of stuff so one headlight is worth about 300 bucks so we only paid 350 for everything so there's a lot of profit here and what I don't want I will uh, I'll recycle of course I'm going to recycle it all and it's going to go in the recycle bin outside of my store the big recycle bin that I have there so we're gonna turn in here to the farm and we are gonna go to the shed and unload everything 
Okay guys, so this is where we're going to be putting some stuff. Those are my vintage BMX bike collection kind of stuff going on there. But we're going to put everything in here. I've already got a 77 Ford uh, F-250 hood. Got a nice cabinet there. And a big gold metal flake cross. If you need one, you know a guy that has one. So it's uh, metal flake, gold, and neon. So Jesus, build my hot rod right there. Okay, guys, so I've got all of the car parts put in here. This is really cool. This is a VW Superbug. It's a back glass out of one of those. Headlights, valve covers, small block she or big block Chevy headers, bunch of headlights, tail lights, uh, door panels. There's some Camaro stuff in there. Uh, piece off some pieces off of a '67 Camaro. Uh, just tons of stuff. More parts over here, more parts over here. And then there's a couple of things I'm taking to the store to go on and work on getting listed. Um, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed going with us today, kind of seeing what we do. This is how we make money. Hey, it's not going and buying a bunch of Funko Pops or action figures, but this is how we make money. Our deposits today was for nearly 2,500 bucks. We get deposits for at least fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars every week on ebay so that is somewhere between you know if it's four weeks so that's two four six eight seventy seven to eight thousand dollars a month and we are growing every month we're seeing bigger increases we're seeing more profits and that's why you're watching this channel so you can get an idea on how you can grow a business if you want to watch people do youtube there are a lot of reselling channels out there you can watch youtubers try to resell but when you're here, you're going to watch resellers try to do YouTube. So hope you enjoyed. If you would, go down below, give us a thumbs up. And uh, be sure to like and make a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this buy. Is this something that you would have done? Will you go out maybe try to contact some of your local uh, auto body shops? Maybe some of your car repair places and maybe see if they have extra parts laying around. It's a great way to make money. It's an untapped market. And I think that you will do really well if you venture out and try to do this. So. You guys have a good day. Thank you very much. God bless you guys. Remember, be sure to subscribe. And the family that picks together, sticks together. We stick together. God bless you guys.